In mid-February, police operatives attached to 3-3 police station in Kwele, Zunaka, Anambra State, working with a local vigilante group, raided the property of a self-acclaimed pastor, Rejoice Raymond, and her 80-year-old mother following intelligent reports of suspicious criminal activities. Their discovery is indeed shocking. In the building, are three toddlers confined and lying helplessly in different rooms with varying degrees of injuries, one of them with a fractured hand. The suspects were immediately arrested and children taken into custody for immediate medical attention. It's been several weeks since that incident, and the children are back at the Anambra State Police Command Headquarters. Amobia looking better, accompanied by the State Commissioner for Women Affairs in Didi Mezwe. Authorities at the Police Command give an update on the incident. A preliminary investigation so far revealed that the suspect, uh, Madam uh, Rejoice, allegedly bought the two, three children at the rate of three point. 3 million and 50,000 naira from a woman called uh, Madam Sabina Izora, who is uh, a social welfare worker who allegedly sold the children is still at large. The injuries inflicted on their bodies owing to physical and emotional torture is still obvious as the children continue to recuperate in custody of the state government. They recount their experience under the former caregiver. Who did this to you? This woman. Who? Pastor. Pastor who? Chimelezen. Can you point her? Go and point her. Go and point her. No, beat me. <laughs> oh. She will throw me in the step, push me in the gutter. A pastor beat me. Who? Pastor Chimelezen. Chimelezen who? See, I'm here. You came from knife, beat me. What did you do to her? I know then. The Ministry of Women and Children Affairs and Ambra State will not relent in taking care of these um, lovely children while the case is being investigated. And I pray as they go on investigating the matter, let the law take its course. Not the one that might treat them. Rejoice Raymond continues to deny inflicting any wound on the children as the police display some of the exhibits recovered from the home of the suspect.